Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing tonight? In this video, I'm just gonna explain the four ways you can get medicated while you're still sick. You know, if you just recently caught a flu or a cold, I wouldn't recommend to smoke very much because you kind of want to heal, especially your throat, you know, but here are the four ways I kind of recommend if you still want to try to get a little medicated while you're sick. So sit back, enjoy this one, and, you know, just try to retain a little bit of information. If you already know this method, that's pretty cool. You can kind of add your thoughts in the comments down below, but let's get right into it right now. All right. Now, the first real way to, you know, to try to get medicated is with edibles instead of smoking you know like have a few tinctures you know some oils you know what i'm saying you can get from the plug or you can try to make it yourself i'd recommend making it yourself so it's cheaper and it's you know more convenient so the reason why i say that is because you can just get medicated right then and there you're still you know drinking tea or some hot chocolates whatever is your preference you know whatever and, you know, you can kind of mix it up. I wouldn't really mix it up with any cold meds because you'll probably just fall asleep unless you're really off of work or, you know, you really have nothing to do. But tinctures, you know, it's very the most easiest way. You can just drip it in your tea or whatever else you're drinking. And when you're smacked, you're kind of more smacked than normal. Then you know, it depends on your dosage. If you go really, really hard on a dosage, it would really get you out the world. Edibles, personally, for me, I only take them when I'm off of work, you know, obviously, because it really gets to me. And every single time I pop edibles at work, I just I fall asleep, you know, because I work overnight, obviously, you know, so not really good. So and plus, when you're sick, you're at home, you know, you're not you're off of work, you know, since I mentioned the fact that I only take it when I'm off. When you're sick, you're going to call off of work and you're not going to have too much to do. So edibles are like the good first option, the most obvious good first option out of all the other options I'm going to say on this list, because it's the most healthiest way to, you know, get medicated to and without damaging whatever your, your body's trying to heal. Now, low temp dabs is another good option. You know, this is only for my dabbers. If you have dabs, you know, it's pretty good to really just get yourself into it and really do it low temp and once you're used to it even after you're sick you're gonna want to take low temp dabs you know you'll taste the dab flavor more and the vapor won't really like make your throat feel too hot and it's easier to take fatter rips you know it, it's longer obviously to inhale and it's different inhalation than a bong like you kind of want to inhale very slowly most of the time and you, you kind of know the, the technique as you get into dabbing over time. It's not going to come right away when you first start. You're just going to be kind of reckless. So I'd recommend watch a bunch of videos. Try to, if you have friends that dab, maybe we'll have them, you know, show you exactly how to do it in real life. Because that's how I kind of learned, you know, the fastest. How to, you know, do the breathing method and shit. Sit before you rip, you know, drink some water. Um, shit like that. So definitely low temp dabs are a very good option when you're not feeling too good. Now the sip before you rip, like I mentioned before, you know, if you really have to smoke, you know, if, if blunts, bong rips are like your only like options you have around. Sip some hot ass tea, cause especially when you have a sore throat or if you have a flu, any kind of sickness, you know, like I don't know about COVID. I don't, I've never had COVID, so I can't really speak on that. So, the hot tea, when you sip it, it leaves your throat at a more alleviate rate. Because when you smoke, you're going to feel it. You know, you're going to feel it your, your throat more and it's going to be way more harsher and shit. No matter, like, how good the weed is. Like, maybe for the super fire weed, it won't be way too bad. But the normal weed that we buy every day is going to be very harsh when we hit take more harsh in our throat. You're not going to notice it too much when you first hit it, but when you reach down here or like to your chest, I guess you're going to feel it more, you know? So hot tea kind of like alleviates that. It kind of alleviates the pain, at least for me when I tried it, you know, because I was sick back in July for a good few weeks and I couldn't make content and work, going to work was very hard for me. So... I just sipped a lot of hot tea whenever I was smoking and it really kind of definitely helped the sesh, you know, while, while I was at home, you know, not trying to heal and shit, 
you know, because it's not too much to do, you know, like you can do on your hobbies and it's kind of very hard for me to, you know, even strum the guitar or play the piano or whatever I want to do or read a book without sneezing or, you know, coughing 24 seven, you know, mucus out. So hot tea definitely alleviates all that in general when you're sick, you know, and but while you're smoking, it kind of helps the throat, you know, at least get become less painful while you're smoking. For me, you know, if you're super duper sick, then I wouldn't recommend smoking at all. Last one is take baby rips. Like if you normally take a bong rip, try to take the last half of the bowl that you normally take. You know, like you already know how much of the fat rips that you take. Try to just, you know, make it half the bowl. You know, like you don't have to take super duper small rips. But the easiest way is either, you know, with a dab, you know, you'll, you can obviously, you know, take the tiny one and then throw it in your e-rig or whatever you have or your, your banger. And, you know, and you immediately just take that little baby rib and you'll realize the smoke, when you smoke less, but, you know, you'll still have more to keep going. The sesh lasts longer and it's not that bad. It's not bad at all when you take baby rips. You won't really feel it at all. You know, whether if it's with a blunt or a bong rip, whatever, whatever you have, you know, like it, it won't feel it too bad. But for me, whenever I don't feel too good, it's like, all right, bet I'll just take very, very small rips off of like whatever I have, whether it's a, you know, a joint bong rip dab or or even a cart. Like once in a blue moon, I buy a cart, you know, just for that, you know, I'll just try to just you know, alleviate that. But for me, it kind of helps. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, if you hope you guys learned something, just let me know in the comments what, if, you know, what other methods you try to use while you're not feeling too good. You know, I personally don't recommend to not smoke at all while you're sick. I would definitely just choose the first option, which is the edibles tinctures method or RSO if you live in a very legal state. Whatever you really, the easiest access way to consume it. I recommend it 1000%. You know what I'm saying? And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night or day, whatever you're watching. Peace.